What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I am running iExplorer, which is an app from MacroPlant that you can download to browse the contents of your iOS devices. And you can see I have it hooked up right now to my iPhone, or I have my iPhone hooked up to my Mac, and then I have this program running. And what this app allows you to do is just to explore the contents of your iPhone. Now, it's very limited on non-jailbroken devices without AFC installed, which stands for Apple File Conduit. And that allows you to browse the full... Um, native file structure of your iPhone without a jailbroken device in that installed AFC2 as it is better known as uh, you cannot browse the full contents of your iOS device so it's very limited you just have access to things like uh, media and things like that stuff that iTunes and uh, other apps like iPhoto would have access to like you have access to all your photos and things like that but as far as file structure native file system access yeah, you can't do that. So it's not like you can go into like the downloads and go into the VAR private media and things like that to access uh, other stuff on your iOS device. You can't do that without having AFC2 installed. And so that's the point of Sorg's recent update to Apple File Conduit, AFC2. Um, this new update is available for iOS 8.1. And uh, it's out there right now. So if you just perform a search and just search for Apple File Conduit, you'll be able to find that. So all you do is on your jailbroken iOS 8 device, you install this package, which I'm going to do right now. All right. And once you install this package, you'll notice that you can now access the full native file system on um, via USB, basically, because I have this this iPhone plugged in via USB. And this will allow you to access the full native file system uh, via apps that take advantage of that USB connectivity, such as iExplorer. Okay, so AFC2 is um, installed. And I'm going to just close out of iExplorer. And I am going to relaunch iExplorer, which I just did there. And continue with the demo. And now you see root access. So that means I have full, un just uninhibited access to my iOS device, uh, courtesy of AFC2. Now there are some some noted security concerns that you may want to consider. Uh, just having full root access to your device obviously um, brings about some con security concerns. Being able to access that via just a USB connection obviously makes your device a little less secure, I guess you could say. Uh, so you can read the post on iDownload blog, comment about it if you if you would like and express any concerns you may have. But the point of this is that you can access quickly your full file system via USB, courtesy of AFC2, this uh, new package that Soric just put out for iOS 8.1. So this makes it so you can quickly drag and drop files and and, and use your, your phone uh, to, uh, or use this app such as iExplore to access the full file system on your phone, Drop drag and drop files to specific locations there, um, it's just extremely handy to have file system access without having to SSH into your device, for instance. Uh, so that is an overview of what AFC2 does in the app I Explore. If you want to try this out, you can go to uh, the link in the description. I have more information there. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about having AFC access, AFC2 access on your iOS device, running iOS 8.1 in the comments. And if you learned something or if you like this video, please like it as well. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.